So looking at this in the light of day, <clears throat> although it's a rainy day, um, I'm deciding that this is a little bit too bold. So I'm going to soften it up a bit um, by dropping some alcohol on it. I have to flip the glass over and I'll show you what happens when I do that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I have just a little bowl with regular old rubbing alcohol. Um, and this is ink paint. And on this side, it's quite shiny. I did etch the glass. I don't know if you can see, I just used armor etching. I like the effect. Um, you can drop alcohol on it any way you want. You can use an eyedropper. I like this because I like the, um, the effect of the bigger dots. So, here we go. And then you'll see the alcohol reacting with the ink. Kind of thins it out, spreads it. And that's what I want. I'll show you when I'm done. So, I basically just dropped um, alcohol on it from up high. You can see the little splashes make these cool marks and some of those heavier areas have released but it's also given me really nice borders which I really like. My overhead light is making some glare. Sorry about that. The other cool thing you can do take a straw watch this. Oh I get it. And you can fan it out a bit, which is what I'm going to do. I have a couple areas that I just want it not to be quite so dense. I can't do this and hold the phone at the same time, I don't think. Let's try. really liking how this has turned out. This spot is a little bit too dense for me still. So, but much better. It's still intense, but it's not as dark as it was. Um, this spot is still a bit too dark. And the nice thing, the cool thing about this is as it dries, it gets more distinctive. It gets a little easier to um, move around as it uh, when it's really wet with alcohol, it tends to slide back. But see, there's a big piece here that I don't like. Let's see if I can show you how this works. like this. Sorry, I'm not a great camera person, but I'm going to work on this a little more and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I crawled under the table to see what it would look like because I'm going to be flipping this over. It's just a very inexpensive glass coffee table that I'm painting a mustard yellow, which I'll show you as well later, but I'm really happy now with how I have this all dispersed. It still has that crazy ink look, but it's also more like 
little tide pools and um, the great thing about this too is that if you hate it apparently you can just take a bunch of alcohol spray it on wipe it off and start all over so I'll be spraying this with um, it's a clear acrylic just to set it so that when I'm wiping it uh, it'll be fine the other thing I'm gonna do once this sets is there's a beveled edge here that I did tape off and you can see where the etching is ink gets on that and it's really just a little q-tip with some alcohol on it and you want to be careful not too much so go with your q-tip I did some last night so I just have to clean it up later and a paper towel just to get it all off as much as you like. So I'm gonna to try to show you what it looks like from underneath. So for me, really pretty. I love the look. And then once the legs are all mustard brown, uh, like a mustard yellowy brown, I should say, I think it's gonna look just awesome. Totally gonna to do more of these projects. Um, I hated my coffee table. I hated all the smears on it. This is going to be some great camouflage. 